Hello, it is Monday today. I am making egg salad. I got my eggs done. I'm making egg salad and Caesar egg salad sandwiches and Caesar salad. Now, let me put you down lower so you can see. Okay, so I heard when the eggs are done, I've done this before. If they spin, they're done. And if they don't spin, they're not done. So my eggs are done, plus they're cracked. And to make my eggs go a little boil a bit faster, add a little bit of salt and a little bit of oil. Plus I have this gas so it cooks fast. So I'm gonna run cold water over these and start getting all the other ingredients out that I'm gonna need. Okay, so I have some romaine lettuce for the Caesar salad and Parmesan cheese. I don't have fresh Parmesan cheese, but I'm just gonna use this. I have some other Italian cheese in there, Romano or whatever, but I feel like maybe it's too strong, so I'm just gonna stick with this. Some croutons. And I did cheat, I bought Caesar's salad dressing. Said I have to make it. <laughs> so that is that. And then I got the mayonnaise and mustard, paprika, and green onion for the eggs. So the eggs are still cooling down. So I'm gonna start with the salad first, and then I'll move on to the egg salad. So all of my romaine lettuce is cut up. I'm just gonna add the croutons and mix the salad up. Have a little bit left for next time. So I have one thing of romaine lettuce left, so get salad again next time. Probably Caesar salad again. Just sprinkle some of this Parmesan cheese on here. That should be enough. Awesome. My hands are clean, so the salad's done now. Voila. Wash my hands, start the eggs now. Let me get those cracking and peeling right back. Before I get cracking and peeling, I'm going to cut my green onion first. I'm going to cut two. So I didn't do that much onion, just two. That's enough. I added the eggs. So at this point, I'm going to add the green onion. And my mayonnaise. Not two tablespoons. We'll see if we need more. I can remember less is more. <laughs> Some mustard. And I'll probably add the paprika last. chop this up a little bit more because I wanted a little bit more small pieces. I did add a little bit more mayonnaise. Then add a little bit more mustard. I'm going to add a little bit more money since that happened. I mean, it tastes okay, but I did a whoopsies. Been doing a lot of whoopsies lately. Guess I got a lot on my mind. So, I think I 
added a little bit too much paprika, but it's okay. It still tastes fine. It happens. No, he's holding the mustard. <laughs> Now. I didn't want to have to go back and forth to the recipe I got off the wine because I make egg salad, but I figured making it a new way would be awesome. Not bad. Next time I make it, I won't make put so much paprika, but it's still good. Try to Caesar salad, which wasn't that hard to make. That's good. I hear my daughter in the background. Sorry, I was getting incoming call. So this is really good. Easy to make, cheap. The eggs I got from the food bank, the bread I got from the food bank. The salad stuff I bought. But, yes, very good. So, tomorrow I'm making chicken enchiladas and refried beans. I have some chicken that there's three of them that are the same, they're seasoned already. So, I'm just gonna cook those and then stuff the enchiladas with those. So, that's what we're having tomorrow. Tomorrow is Tuesday. See you tomorrow. It is Tuesday and I'm making chicken enchiladas. I have all these things of chicken right here. They're the same kind. So I'm going to cut them up, fry them up, and then I'm going to put them in. I have some flour tortillas. I'm going to use those up first. And then I'm going to use corn tortillas. And then I have, you know, cheese, burgers. And then gelato sauce, it's red. And then I have refried beans. And I have some baking grease left over that I'm gonna use for the beans, to use as fat for the beans. Now the chicken and tortillas came from the food pantry at my church. So those were free. Refried beans were like a dollar. Um, 20, I believe at Walmart. And then gelato sauce, I think I got for a dollar at grocery outlet. And then I bought the cheese from Walmart. That was seven-ish dollars. So, yeah, I bought the cheese and the refried beans to go towards this dinner. Cheese are used for other things. So basically, I had to get the refried beans to go to the dinner tonight. So that's a dollar twenty. The cheese has been used for other meals too, so, you know. You want to include that and maybe we'll say it was like three dollars for the cheese so four dollars for this meal tonight and then bacon grease is left over from bacon that i made so there you go so just use this stuff i had in my pantry already and using the food bank as a resource because you know i volunteer there so i get to get free food um and then whatever extra we have sometimes i get to take them so it's a blessing because it does help a lot um, groceries are really expensive. Yes, I do get UBT. Yes, I try to stretch my UBT for the whole month. But groceries are still expensive. So, really helps. So, and telling you, if I, we just, if nobody takes, takes the leftover food we have, it just goes to waste, it just goes through the garbage. And the food we get from the food bank 
um, the food the food bank gets is from stores that is past the sale by date it's still good but they would throw it away if they weren't giving it to the community and we give it they give it to us and we give it to the community so all that is helping with not only feeding people which is a blessing but having the food go to you know food just in the garbage so yeah it's a blessing that I have this so I'm gonna get this started I'm gonna cut up the chicken first and then fry it okay so the chicken is cut up and cooking now it had seasoning already on it so I'm not gonna season it I'm just gonna throw it in the enchiladas okay so now I'm just going to Chicken is done. It's all cooked, so put in the tortilla and wrap them up. I need to save some chicken because for my daughter because I'm just gonna make her taco, she just like enchiladas. So I'm gonna repeat this process a few times. Repeat this process until I'm done and start the beans and stuff. Oh my lord. I have so much in my mind right now, and my kids are like distracting me. I was like, something's missing out of these jobs. What am I doing? What am I missing? I'm missing the cheese. I wasn't putting cheese in these. The cheese is the most important part. <laughs> I tell you, so now I'm adding the cheese. I like to put cheese inside and on top. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm just pouring this sauce on top of the enchiladas. So the corn tortilla ones were falling apart. I should have probably heated them up so they wouldn't have done that. I'm just going to heat up my daughter's in pan, same pan as the chicken was in. Um, I'm going to use the other pan for refried beans. So. Some cheese on the top. Oven. It's been 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. And get the beans started. Okay, so now I'm putting the bacon grease into this pan, letting it heat up before I add the beans. Gives it a flavor and makes the beans thinner. I usually like to use it kind of fat. I'm going to get the taco heated up over here for my daughter. Most of these shells uh, are like ripped up, but oh well, make the best of it. You add the beans. using rosaritas okay and we're back it looks like pac-man <laughs> he's taco shells so <laughs> i thought that was funny okay so i'm gonna add some cheese to the refried beans down a little bit and get this other taco shell cooking for my daughter and then dinner's just about done. So I forgot to take a video of the enchiladas when they were done. We already dug into them. The beans are like already, you know, mostly gone after serving them. So it's what it looks like. So I'm going to try it now. Not 
Don't have any sour cream though. It's good sour cream. So it was pretty good. Tomorrow is Thursday. No, I wish I was ahead of myself. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Tomorrow is church day. So it's good to do hot dogs and macaroni and cheese. Something easy. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. Uh, Wednesday. Hello, it's Wednesday. I was supposed to make macaroni and cheese and just hot dogs tonight. I have church, but my daughter begged me to make french fries and fish fillets she really wanted that tonight and we were going to have it tomorrow so i just went ahead and switched it for her so yeah tomorrow's another busy day of church anyway tomorrow we have outreach for the holidays so yep get this started just eat to, you know this is an easy dinner tomorrow's gonna be easy dinner just because like i said i'm busy at church here in a little bit and i have outreach tomorrow where we um, bring homeless people food and drinks. It is hot out there and stuff, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Um, it takes a while to we'll drive around town looking for homeless people, which we find a lot, and we provide them with food and prayer. So, okay, I'm gonna get this started. Okay, so I'm just adding fries now. I might just make a food so my daughter can have leftovers for tomorrow or lunch. She likes her animal fries. I haven't even bought tartar sauce. So keep putting on my grocery list and I always forget it on my list on my fridge and I always forget it to write it when I go grocery shopping to write it down. But the kids, they like the mayonnaise and the ketchup ingredients anyway. So now it's just like I haven't really need to buy tartar sauce. I like tartar sauce kind of better than that when I'm having fish, but oh well. So I'm not gonna do a video on the that part on the mayonnaise and ketchup. I've done that plenty of times and yeah, my daughter's hooked on that, so she likes that with her fries. So I think that's why she wanted the fish and fries tonight, <laughs> so she can have that. <laughs> Let me get the fish started. Now I'm just throwing my fish in the pan. I believe I did a video on this. This is no big deal. This is just frozen food. <laughs> and I'm going to throw it in the pan. Make sure the pan on them. I used olive oil for the fish and where vegetable oil for the fries. My daughter loves fried food and I've just been going through oil like crazy lately. I don't eat that much of it. I'm just gonna make the whole thing. So like I said, she can have it for lunch tomorrow. Our teenagers eat more than I do and they always want seconds. I don't know how they do it. All right. Okay, so what I've been doing is just adding some lemon on the fish as it's cooking and some salt on the fries as it's cooking. They're almost done. I do have some fish that are done. The fries are almost done. And the last bit of the fish is almost done. Okay, so it's done. Nice and crispy. Easy, fast dinner. So tomorrow's macaroni and cheese on hot dogs and tomorrow's Thursday. See you tomorrow. Bye. Well, it is Thursday. I got outreach here in a little bit. Uh, luckily, it was going to be a very fast dinner. I was going to make the macaroni cheese and hot dogs, but I really don't have to make macaroni and cheese because I made my dad a big meal for lunch today and he had macaroni and cheese and he's not going to eat all this, so I brought it home. I'm going to uh, cut up the hot dogs fry them and then I'm gonna add the macaroni and cheese to that 
And that's what my kids are gonna have for dinner. I'll stir them and then I'll get going. I'm actually not hungry. I ate with my father today. I'm still stuffed. Um, so I'm not doing a veggie because the kids are really not big on veggies. So I'm just gonna cook this and if they're still hungry, well, they can find something else to eat, but this should do it. So let's get this started. Okay, so now I'm just adding the macaroni cheese. I'll have that to fried. I'll show you real quick. So, yep, I'm gonna add the mac and cheese now. Okay, so that's done. I served my kids, so I'm gonna try it. Just one bite. I know this meal's not a big deal, but like Wednesdays, Thursdays, I need easier dinners because I'm busy. So try this. This leftover macaroni and cheese I already made today. Instead of throwing it away and reusing it. So I added hot dog to it. And it's good. Tomorrow is turkey tacos. Tomorrow's Friday. See you tomorrow. Hello, it is Friday. I'm in a hurry again. My daughter is at a church um, youth thing. And then I pick her up and then I gotta go to my church thing. So, what I'm making is turkey tacos out of this turkey kit that I got from Grocery Alley. I think for like one or two for dollars. I have this turkey breast that I've had for a long time. I think I might have got this food if I cooked it. Had extra, so I froze it, using that up. My daughter wants carne asada, like she always does. She picked this out at the food bank when she helped me today at the food bank. So um, I'm gonna make that. Got some salsa from the food bank. I had this rice that I got from the food bank a long time ago. I still have on hand, so I'm gonna use that and the salsa for Spanish rice. Oh, we have some tiny little limes we got from the food bank, so yes, we use that too. And then, of course, I have cheese that I bought to go with dinner tonight because we were out of cheese. So we have a tiny little bit left. My daughter has been eating a lot of the cheese, so I had to run out and buy more. So, get this started real quick. Um, this is still kind of like a little tiny bit frozen. Um, you know what? I think I can cut it. I was just going to fry it then. Cut it, but I think we just cut it. So, yeah, I'm gonna get this started. Okay. Okay, so I got the turkey breast cut up. I'm just gonna start that. I'm not gonna season it just because I seasoned it when I cooked it last time. So, I think it should be okay. And I'm just pretty much frying it just to heat it up. I cut up some lines to give it some flavor that way and stuff. So now I'm going to start getting the steak cut. I'm not going to really focus so much on the video on the meat, the, the steak, because I've done carne saw numerous times. It's my daughter's favorite. She would have it every day if she could. I'm going to focus mostly on the turkey tacos this night. We always have carne saw. So, yeah. Okay, so I got my rice in the pot. I'm just gonna add some water and some salsa. I have pork, so I'm almost done. I'm just gonna turn it down and add some lemon, some lime to that. And then we're gonna saw this cooking. And then this has a seasoning pack in it. I'm just gonna save the seasoning pack for something else for next time. I just need the shells and um, we'll use the sauce. That's it. And then I'm just squeezing my on a pork. That's done. So. I will let my son eat unless to eat. The rice isn't done. Actually, I guess I'll just wait till the rice is done. Then I'll show a video. Okay, 
it's done. Try the rice. Yeah, I changed my clothes because I'm trying to get ready. Multitasking. <laughs> so I have to put makeup on. The rice is good. Oh, the Spanish rice. I put a little bit of sauce in it. I like grated cheese to it melt. I said pork is turkey. Not bad. He's a little rough. So good. Mm. All right. We'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow Saturday. Bye. Hello. I'm making. Uh, it's Saturday. I'm making case uh, carne asada quesadillas, and I decided to make some homemade tortilla chips with the quartz shells that were all broken, and they're pretty good. I'm just using butter. They're like this, so just to eat as a side to get rid of the tortillas because you can't use them for anything else really. I have butter because I don't have oil. I went to our Dollar Tree store to get a few things to last us um, the rest of the month because usually I go to the Dollar Tree store at the end of the month regardless. That's just my shopping pattern. And they are closed. They keep closing our town's Dollar Tree store because they have no air conditioning. And they claimed it was hot, but it wasn't really that hot today yet. It was under nine. It was like 90 maybe. And it was like noon. They're closing like almost every single day. I don't know how they're staying in business. It's a rumor that the owner of the place does not want to replace their air conditioning. It's a big mess, but it's heartbreaking because there's a lot of people who depend on Dollar Tree store because yeah, it's dollar for five, but it's still dollar for five. It still has some things cheaper than other places do, but you can stretch a dollar there more still, and it's hard because you know it's homeless people and other people maybe who are struggling, especially when we're having the time we're having right now, inflation and stuff, and they're keep closing. And it's the only Dollar Tree store we have in town. So I feel sorry for people who don't have anywhere else they can go and that's the only place it's close or whatever you know it's just heartbreaking I don't know it's upsetting this has been happening for months already but they close almost every day now so it's crazy all right so I'm getting this done my carne asada is just about done and then I'm gonna start uh, doing a quesadillas I've got to put those in butter too or in a lot of butter tonight and then, yeah, that'll be it. So with these chips, of course, I'm adding salt. My carne asada is done. I didn't show you a video of the carne asada because I've done so many videos of that, so I didn't. I have some of the tortillas from our tacos last night, so I'm gonna use those. I'm gonna use the tortillas out of this box, save the good shells for another time. I, so. Yeah, this is a good use to do that. So, get this started. I'm going to use the same pan 
I'm using the chip for the chips because this is almost done, so I don't dirty in a pan, and I can just use some of the butter and that stuff, so, yeah, for the insidious. Okay, so I flip them over and put them on one side, any salt to your side. Okay, so I added some butter to this pan. So I'm just trying the meat. The meat's good. Okay, I'm going to add cheese. For some bad meat. That's a good idea. These are carne asada quesadillas. <laughs> After all. And then add the cheese. The cheese is kind of weird because it's fat free. My daughter not too happy about it, but she'll still eat it. It's probably not going to melt really good either. But she has to make changes around here. My daughter loves fried food, the greasy food. You know, it's hard to stay away from that. My son and I are trying to eat like sugar free, fat free a little bit. We're trying to make those changes. It's not exactly easy. So, give these a few minutes. Let the cheese melt. So the first tortillas, I mean, I mean, someone can make those. Too. This one kind of did. This one kind of not so much. The other ones I did, I waited to flip them over once they were more like brown, and they're tiny. They're mini pieces. We are gonna start eating. I'm gonna get the serve. Okay, so this is done. We tried the chips, but they are good. <laughs> nice and crispy. Eats hot sauce. <laughs> so I'm talking to you. But it is good. Tomorrow I'm supposed to make Philly steak Philly steak cheese sandwiches and broccoli salad. I am going to make the broccoli salad, but I don't know about the sandwich part because we're going to a church uh, barbecue, big barbecue potluck thing. And it's gonna be all day so we'll see how i feel <laughs> and we will see how hungry we are my son doesn't want to go so he'll probably be home but he'll have food and then i'll try to bring him play or make him something when i get home i won't totally neglect him <laughs> but um uh, yeah so i don't know about the sandwich part so at least i'm making the broccoli salad you can see that in the morning Okay, so tomorrow's Sunday. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. I'm making my broccoli salad for the barbecue picnic today. So that's what kind of dress like this. Because there's going to be swimming and stuff. So I have to finish getting ready. I look like a mess. Messy hair, don't care. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to get this started. What I'm going to do first, because I didn't have any cranberries. And then uh, the store went to yesterday with clothes, which was the hard tree. So I went to Dollar General and then it had cranberries. And I'm sorry, but I didn't feel like driving everywhere to go look for our cranberries. So it said I could use raisins. But I do like the way cranberries taste in the broccoli salad. So I have some cranberry juice that I'm pouring in to a bowl. And I'm putting the raisins in that cranberry juice, just mixing it up. So it kind of gets that flavor. Craisins. Because <laughs> it said it used craisins too. But I'm going to find dried cranberries at Dollar General. So I was over it. Found everything else I needed at that store. And that store was busy and I was there for a while. So <sighs> I was over it. 
this was the only ingredient that I needed, so I figured I would do it this way. Let's see if this works. And I'm going to mix it. I'm going to let it just kind of soak in the cranberry juice. It's not that much in here. We'll just have the cranberries for something else. I haven't thought about just cutting the cranberries and just have jelly in there, but I was like, no, that won't taste too good. <laughs> so, just to add a little bit of a flavor to the raisins, this is what I'm going to do. I'll taste from that. Mm -hmm. Already made them sweeter. Not that raisins are not sweet, but I add that cranberry. I can taste that cranberry flavor already. So, that was fast. I'm gonna let it soak for a little bit until I get all the salad ready. Then I'll add it. I also gotta make my dressing. So I'm gonna get this broccoli chopped. All right, so I cut the broccoli in little pieces. Now I'm gonna cut the onion. Okay, now I have my red onion, you guys. So I'm just adding it to the broccoli. And I'm gonna add the cranberries. Well, I'm going to add the bacon bits and sunflower seeds first. That should be enough. And then we're going to do bacon. Let's see. Taste the raisins again. Yep. Okay. Get any of the juice out of there. Just a barely couple drops. I love broccoli salad. I eat the whole. I eat this whole bowl. <laughs> it's a big bowl. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna make the dressing. Be right back. Okay, so for the dressing, I'm gonna add about one cup of mayonnaise. Well, I'm gonna add one cup of mayonnaise. Okay. And now, a little bit of apple cider vinegar. It's supposed to be two teaspoons that should do it and then I measure my sugar already two tablespoons of sugar pour it in there and it's it's salt and pepper and I'm gonna mix it So now I'm going to just add it to the bowl. And then once this is done mixed, I have a container that I'm going to bring with me. It has a lid. This, this bowl is bigger to mix in, so I'm just going to transport it into the other container. 
it has to let it refrigerate it because it has to be refrigerated for about an hour which works perfectly because I'm going to go to church and make breakfast here and get ready for church and then go to church and then come back home and pick it up. So I'm just going to mix this. I don't want to be on recording for a long time, so let me mix this. So I just have like this casserole dish I'm going to put it in. Can I get a lot of broccoli on there? Let me see. Probably because I'm using a spoon. <laughs> That should be a hit. That's probably gonna be none left. No. <laughs> I had wanted broccoli salad for a while. So I put it on the menu, you know, I was gonna make it tonight for dinner, and then I forgot about the barbecue. So now I'm bringing it to the potluck, but it is good, real good. Okay, so I might put it back on to make sandwiches later. I'm not sure yet. All right, bye.